sent the Holy Ghost to inspire Matthew and Luke to write about this particular event that happened in history. And do I believe in the virgin birth of Jesus Christ? Do I believe? As some would say, no, that's impossible. But I'm reminded of the Word of God that said, with God all things are possible. And with God nothing shall be impossible. So it tells me if God wants to use a virgin to carry. And I know some people in the church have tried to put women down and say women can't do this and women can't do that but you know the first one that carried the gospel was a little virgin lady and probably about 14 years of age so women you God's got a place for you he said in the last days when he pours out his spirit he said your sons and your daughters amen but let me go ahead and preach on you. Let me go right there. But the Word of God tells you He's so particular and so and so distinct to tell you that Jesus Christ, His conception was not a normal conception just like you and I have. We we know how we were all conceived in this building. But Jesus was not born of the will of man or the will of the flesh. But He was born by the will of God when the Holy Ghost yeah. stepped down and came upon that virgin womb of Mary. And some way, I don't know how, somehow or another, in that event of that experience with the third person in the Godhead when God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Ghost came down and somehow or another God the Son came forth from a virgin womb. It blows my mind how in the world can the God of all the universe come and show up himself as a baby boy in a man. Amen. It blows my mind that God stepped down. The second man in the Godhead stepped down and the good old flesh. The Bible said he was God manifest in the flesh. Amen. You understand the belief that we have in Jesus, this man called Jesus? It is different. It separates us from most people in the world. It separates us from all the cults and all the other religions. They'll say Jesus lived. They'll say he was a great teacher. They'll say he was a rabbi. They'll say he was a prophet. But we say he was God manifest in the flesh. Amen. We say there was something different about this man. He was more than a man. Yes, he walked on the water, turned the water into wine. We know he was something different about him. As I preached earlier this week, who is this man called Jesus? Jesus said, Who do the men say that I am? Well, some say you're John the Baptist. Some say you're Elijah, one of the prophets. But he said, Who say ye that I am? And God had been talking to Simon Peter, and he stands up and says, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. I stand before you tonight and tell you, He's more than what you made him to be. He's more than what we can comprehend him to be. He is the son of the most high God. He said he was 